Um, hello, everybody. Um, I will I will give you a short um, uh, presentation about the partner uh, pers uh, institute perspective from the Salk the Salzburger Landeskliniken. Um, first of all, I will give you a short introduction about the hospital landscape in in Salzburg and which uh, possibilities in research we have from this uh, landscape. First of all, let's have a look at Salk. Um, Salk, we are the biggest uh, public uh, hospital provider in Salzburg. Uh, we operate about uh, 1,800 beds. Uh, we have more than 6,000 employees, um, 70,000 uh, inpatient contacts in a year, and one uh, of uh, uh, more than 1 million of outpatient contacts in a year. And as you say, can see on this map, we operate uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, uh, hosp hospitals. Uh, we have also a, a strong partner with the uh, Paracelsus Medical University and of course with the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute, which is also located on the area of Psych, as uh, Professor Niebauer has already uh, mentioned before. Um, in, in Salzburg, uh, we have a very interesting uh, landscape, uh, what I've already mentioned, uh, for e-health and telemedicine topics, because on the one hand, we have uh, uh, Salzburg city, uh, we, we have there a lot of uh, know-how, we have there a lot of research activities, we have there a lot of um, medical uh, institutions. And on the other hand, we have a, a, a wide area of, 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 of uh, valleys. Uh, we have a, a huge uh, countryside. And this uh, gives us, uh, this makes us very interesting uh, for telemedicine and e health um, uh, projects. Because the main goal of e health and telemedicine is not to carry the patient from one place uh, to the other. Um, we want to carry or we want to transmit the data from one one um, 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 place to, to the other, and we want to give the patients the best treatment at uh, the place where he, or, he lives. And we also have in Salzburg, beside, beside the city of Salzburg and the uh, nice countryside, we, have, we also have a lot of ideas, and uh, especially ideas for uh, telemedicine and ES projects. But uh, what, what we are doing um, is, um, embedded in a, in a strategy. Uh, this strategy is, um, uh, starts on the national level, reach out to the regional level and also for the uh, project level. Um, uh, we will start, I will start um, with the uh, national and the regional level. We have um, um, developed in Austria for the next, uh, for the last uh, five years. And we, would, we are currently developing, developing a strategy for the next uh, five years for uh, the healthcare targets uh, for the Austrian healthcare system. At the moment, we have two main targets um, from this perspective uh, we want to support projects that support integrated care that means we want to make the, the organization in the health uh, system uh, work together and digitalization and e-health is one tool to enable this collaboration along the patient pathways and one other strategic goal in the Austrian healthcare system is also to provide the best uh, point uh, the, to uh, provide medical treatment at the best point of service that uh, means that we don't that that the hospital is not necessarily the best uh, point of service. For example, let's let's uh, think about the uh, think of the uh, uh, huge number of uh, hospital transmission for patients who only come to the hospital for 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 a short, short examination or to to get some information. This uh, patient co can be also treated um, in the divinity of the patient of the patient at home. For example, by providing telemedicine or teleconsultation services. Uh, based on this uh, national and regional uh, uh, healthcare targets, we have developed a healthcare system planning strategy for hospital and ambulatory care. And um, surprise, um, this um, strategy focus on uh, on services which enable to move uh, um, medical treatment from the hospital closer to the patients. Yeah, we call it outpatient care before in inpatient care. 
And what I've already mentioned, uh, my EEL strategy or the EEL strategy for the um, uh, federal state of Salzburg is to support with digitalization projects, these uh, national and regional strategies. And we want to uh, foster the uh, collaboration between hospital and ambulatory care. And we also want to uh, close the gap between routine care and research. And this is what uh, the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute also wants to focus on. And this is uh, one new aspect in the EEL strategy of Salzburg, not only to focus on routine care, but also on the research activities, because as we have already seen, we have a very um, huge research, research, research community in Salzburg, and we want to, uh, uh, to um, 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 uh, help these researchers um, in their daily life uh, with, uh, with the activities. Well, and based on these uh, strategies, we um, make uh, different uh, types of project planning. For example, one example is the year of the digital digitalization, uh, which was in the year 2021, where we uh, started at Zyg a lot of uh, digitalization project projects in the fields of telemedicine and, and e-health. Well, Let's uh, let's um, have also a, a, a quick look on the technical environment. What we have uh, already in Salzburg, as uh, I think Jan has already mentioned, we have in Austria a national uh, e-health infrastructure called Elga. Elga is a national national uh, electronic health record, and based on this uh, national electronic health record or this uh, uh, e-health infrastructure, we operate uh, Affinity Domain Salzburg, we, which is uh, which is a regional e-health uh, platform uh, which we operate at Salk for the whole uh, um, federal state of Salzburg. Um, this uh, national um, uh, e-health infrastructure um, has um, uh, gateways to other uh, regional e health infrastructures, uh, so-called Elga Bereiche, for example, uh, in, 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 in Upper Austria, in, in every state of Austria, we, op we operate regional e health infrastructures, and also there are some um, um, private funded uh, uh, e health platforms in Austria. This national uh, e health infrastructure will also operate in future, this national, national contact point, where we where we uh, can uh, connect our infrastructure to the international infrastructure in uh, in the sense of the European health data space, which is as currently currently developed. Based on these uh, two infrastructure layers, we uh, uh, have several activities on the national uh, perspective and, and the regional perspective. perspective. For example, uh, on the national uh, perspective, we have application, ES applications like, like e electronic documents, the e-medication record, the e-vaccination uh, uh, record, and in future we, are, uh, we will also have the patient directive record uh, to store these documents. Um, on the right side of the slides, you have uh, uh, the, the, the current numbers, uh, which we, uh, which we, which uh, of, 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 of different um, uh, KPIs, which are available in the electronic health record. For example, uh, maybe you do, um, some of you don't know in Austria, we have an opt-out system. So more than 9 million patients are registered in this electronic health record. Uh, at the moment, uh, 184 hospitals, uh, more than 7,000 general practitioners and uh, more than uh, 100 nursing homes participate in this electronic health, health record, which means that we have at the moment more than uh, this, these are the numbers from the from August. I think at the moment we have more than 70 million uh, ele uh, electronic documents available. Um, very interesting also for the for the research is that 75% uh, or more than 75% of these documents are available with a high degree of structure. Uh, we also have available uh, more than uh, 20 million uh, vaccination driven by the uh, uh, by the COVID pandemic um, and also more than 100 millions uh, of prescriptions. Uh, this is um, these are very impressive numbers. Well, uh, the electronic health record this is running uh, since um, I guess uh, yeah, six six years. Um, but at the moment, it's, 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 it's very hard to get access to the data because of uh, legal restrictions, technical restrictions, and this is what we uh, have to work on uh, together with the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute, that we can also have uh, access to the data and you can use the data for your research and your projects. 
Um, I've already mentioned the national activities and based on this uh, eHealth platform uh, at the moment, we also put uh, a regional eHealth add-ons on the platform. For example, we have developed a Psych eHealth portal where the, um, the participants can uh, exchange data. We have uh, established a Psych virtual visit. It's a Psych online Sprechstunde. It's a kind of teleconsultation system where you can uh, connect and um, and talk to the patient at, at home. We are developing now an uh, order entry system. And we, 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 now we're working that as much at, as possible of, uh, your, uh, of um, health, um, healthcare providers are connected to the system and use the system for data exchange. Um, this, these are three um, um, areas of interest for you, where we are uh, now working, and uh, what we have, what we are also discussing with uh, LBI, uh, where we can uh, focus on our uh, cooperation uh, activities. For example. Uh, the, the first area um, is that we can uh, ex, ex, put, put um, add-ons on our regional uh, uh, EHS infrastructure. For example, we can talk about telemedicine services or something like that. This is one option is what we have. Um, I think um, Jan has also uh, mentioned that, in all, uh, that we are now talking in Austria about digital health apps or uh, data platforms. Um, it's very important uh, that these uh, digital health apps or data platforms are not developed as a silo or silo application because it's, it's, it's very uh, important that these uh, applications are also connected to the national e-health infrastructure, that this um, application can uh, exchange data uh, uh, with with each other, and the third, and in in in, in my from my perspective, the most interesting perspective is that if we have uh, that if we are allowed to connect all the data in these different applications on the national and the regional level, we can uh, do AI, we can do big data analysis, we can develop decision support systems, and the 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 the, the, the keyword here is along patients' pathways, because at the moment um, it's very hard to connect all the data or to, to integrate the data from different data silos. And with ELGA and with this concept, also driven by the European health data space, uh, we can uh, connect and uh, analyze data along patient pathways. And I think this will give us much more insights in data than we uh, have it at the moment. So um, to sum up, these are these uh, three, I think, key uh, areas where we can uh, where, have, where we already work together and where, where we should focus on a future so uh, what is our uh, mission and our fields of actions um, as you can see um, now the last years we have uh, developed an ehs infrastructure we put a lot of effort in the technical development and now we work uh, we have to go on uh, to uh, establish new ehs and telemedicine services on this infrastructure these projects should be uh, not only technology driven they should be process and data driven and i think there there's a lot of um, synergies with the ludwig boltzmann estate but um, ES projects are not uh, no, no project. In most cases, as you maybe know, these are journeys. Uh, what we have to talk about, we have to talk about interfaces and interoperability. Uh, we have also had the, the, the questions, how do we integrate these apps uh, in, a, in, a, in an EMR system? We have to talk about the patient identifiers. We have to talk about terminologies that we can make a statistic, a statistic, statistic analysis and so on. We have also to clarify legal aspects, security and data protection um, issues. I think the uh, ongoing discussion around the European health um, um, data space will, um, will um, give a huge um, effort or, uh, and more drive in the discussion. And I, I will be sure that in, in, in future we will allow we will be allowed to use the data also for clinical for the development of, of new methodologies and uh, new uh, and good uh, algorithms in in healthcare system. And finally, um, I think the most critical point is, uh, or are the organizational aspects. Uh, we have to take care that all these services and a project take place in the in the clinical processes. We have, this is kind of transformation. Uh, we have to talk to the to the uh, to the users. We have to include and include them into the project development. I think, and also with the methodology of the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute, I think we are on the right way.
So if you're more interested in what we are doing in Salzburg, there's the link to a document which is available on the Salzburg uh, governmental website. You can read it, unfortunately, it's in German. If you have any question, please, please reach out for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alexander, for your talk. And of course, thank you very much for the fruitful collaborations and uh, inputs you give us uh, to the Institute from the Salk side and from the eHealth from the state of Salzburg. Um, we now close this Institute partner perspectives with Lisa Schiefer from Innovation Salzburg. Um, as